As David makes this lap, he receives a black flag, which means that he's to slow down and return to the pits immediately. Because of the wheel problem the previous day, he has been very concerned checking lug torque often. David assumes that another wheel is loose. He does not know that a fellow driver has gone off the track and that everyone is being brought in. He's the first one to enter the pit lane, and he stops, still thinking that he has a tire problem, but is told to line up for a restart. Luckily, the ambulance and tow truck were not needed. Don't tell me. This is an honorary parade lap after classes are finished to commemorate those challenge cars that came to Summit Point. The other five cars stopped because Dave Lavertu in number five had a flat tire on the only lap the car took, as it was not driven during the school sessions. The tires repaired and the six cars line up. Number 17, David Mura. Number two, Robert Pfeffer. Number nine, Doug Spinner Johnson. Number three, Chip Miller. Number seven, owned by Chip Miller and driven by his son, Lance Miller. Number five, Dave Lavertu. Doug had the distinction of doing a 360 at turn 10. His wife, Carol, stood by and watched in horror. Doug's only regret was that Carol had a video camera in her hand, but she couldn't think fast enough to get his moment of glory on tape. David introduced Robert to the finer aspects of car collecting by giving him a baggie filled with official brake dust off Robert's car from the driving school. Corvettes of Carlisle featured the Challenge cars at its 1995 show. Chip Miller of Carlisle Productions gathered 26 of the approximately 70 known 1988 and 1989 cars for a reunion. With the exception of the Malcolm Connor car, which was in Chip's choice display, these are the cars that came. Four of the cars are 1990 World Challenge cars, making this a display of 30 cars. This car is a 1989 Challenge car that had been used at the Powell Driving School, converted back to street use, and was for sale at the Carlisle Swap Meet by the current owner, who was not certain what he had. Mike Yeager spotted it, confirmed his background, and bought it for $20,000. The next nine cars are 1988s. Number nine was raced by Glory Sports Incorporated, driven by Norm Daniels, Jeff Krosnoff, and R.K. Smith. It's owned by Doug Johnson. Robert is practicing a joke to be played later on David. Number zero was driven by Izzy Sanchez, Max Jones, and Wayne McNally. It's owned by David Smith and was raced also under the number 30. Number 50 was owned by Ken Wallace and never raced. It was for sale with under 500 miles. The current owner, David McCormick, is asking $75,000. Number 66 was raced by Jennerson Chevrolet, driven by Charles Bisland. It's owned by Eric Rokicki. It was converted back to street use and currently has no decals. Number 22, raced by Panther Racing, driven by Carl Herman and Mike Englidge. It's owned by John Lugian. Number 21 was raced by Racing USA, driven by Tony Piocosta. It's owned by Curtis Smith. The car has undergone a major restoration. 
Curtis has taken on the responsibility of documenting the challenge cars and keeping track of current owners. Number 17 was raced by Jack Wilson Chevrolet, driven by Scott Legacy. It's owned by David Mura. It's been restored to the original racing colors and was not washed for the show because there was authentic racetrack dirt on it. Number 53 was raced by DR Motorsports, driven by Jeff Andretti, Paul Tracy, and Jim Vassar. It also raced under the number 20. It's owned by Jeff Black. Number 70 was raced by Corvettes Unlimited, driven by Desiree Wilson and Gary Benson. It's owned by Greg Gable. Number 42 was raced by Ruhlman Motorsports, driven by Randy Ruhlman. It and the matching 1989 number 42 car are owned by Mike Yeager. These are the 1989 cars. Number 7 was raced by Valley Chevrolet and Rippy Racing, driven by Sean Hendricks. It's owned by Chip Miller. Number five was raced by Valley Chevrolet and DR Motorsports, driven by Kim Baker and Bruce Feldman. It's owned by David Lavertu, seated behind his car. Number three was raced by Valley Chevrolet and Rippy Racing, driven by Bill Cooper. It's also owned by Chip Miller. Number 28 was raced by Frederick Chevrolet, driven by John Greenwood and Ed Hoffman. It's owned by Bob Tomczak, who has recently restored the car. Bob owns the 1988 number 88 car, raced by Bob Brown Chevrolet and Cherry Hill Racing, driven by Tom Jaquette. The Baker Racing number 4 car raced in 1987, winning all of the races that year. Corvette, which was expelled by the SCCA, had no place to race, so the Corvette Challenge was born. Bob also owns this historic number 4 car. Number 92 was raced by Jumbo Racing, driven by Johnny Rutherford and Tommy Kendall. It's owned by Vance Shapley. 